my, my, my. Okay, so I think I will, will close the terminal out here. I mean, those are all special characters, which there's no way that I can actually view them. So there are some files, not which you can actually open with them. I mean, there are other, you know, other tools to edit them. Uh, if you're a programmer, you will know it. So, I'm going to say BI again, zoom in. STA1, I mean the hard disk, alright, the hard disk what I have, so it's going to tell me how many blocks we have, it's a symbolic link, it's a link file, so that's why the color, right, as it, if you can see here, mm, I'm sorry, okay, the color itself tells you that it's a symbolic link, okay, it's not actually if it's a symbolic link to something else, there is a source somewhere else, right? So, so we're inside device now. That is, then we have PDS contains device files for pseudo terminals. Pseudo terminals, you know what a pseudo terminal is, so we don't have to look into that. Device volume group 00, zero contains root volume group. Let's say. So logical volume zero zero, logical volume zero one. So it contains all the logical volumes that I have created. Partitions, all right? Partitions are additional and our disks that I've added. Then we have slash net. Net is a virtual file system. Remember, it's not physical. It's a virtual file system. Contains all of the network file systems. NFS or network file sharing. NFS file, network file systems under their corresponding host names mounted through the network when the auto NFS is used. And you enable auto NFS uh, and you have, let's say, <coughs> yours as a client or let's say yours as a server itself. And uh, you have some drives located in a different server or in a different storage area network and they're mapped here, right? So when you put up the unit, automatically those drives you know, will be shown here with the host name or uh, the host which actually holds that information or host which contains those files, okay? So that is how it is. Okay, mirror saving, that's okay, mirror no, wants to edit it, okay. So then we have media. What is media? Right, so anyway, let's look into that in our slash net. Hmm. Right now, we don't have anything because I have nothing, nothing mapped. Okay, so then we have cd slash media. Let's see what, what does that contain. Media, hmm. okay, it's a cd that I have mounted here, right? This is a CD, a DVD actually to be precise. So whatever that you have uh, drives there, that media will be shown here. Okay, whatever media that you have connected. And then we have, uh, after that, we have MIC is a, is a file bit, is a file system used to mount local resources. Hmm, that is great. I mean, that, that, that is something amazing. I mean, <coughs> slash MIC virtual is a file system used to mount local resources. If you have any local resources, then you can mount them uh, by MIC or miscellaneous. That's why it says miscellaneous. I mean, I can, I would have directly done, even if I were in media, I can just say root, root means a top directory. I can say MIC, so it will 
would have to go to that directory and then do a LS or something. So right now I have nothing because I have not mounted anything there. And we have proc directory. It's virtual, dynamic and automatic. This is something which is maintained automatically by the system. You don't have to <coughs> touch it. You don't have to maintain it or something. It holds information about the current state of kernel, including the information about the running processes. That's why I you know as you can see processes here, right running processes, memory, processor, partitioning, you know, uh, input output addresses, etc. These files, you know, point to point to real time information on the memory right so real time information on the memory it seems they <coughs> this is a virtual file system this is not exactly you no know, written or it's on it's on the disk it is on the memory though so I mean you know the difference between memory and the hard disk right hard disk is something where uh, the data is static okay that's called uh, and RAM is called read only memory is the disk Right, the hard disk, your optical disk, your, uh, your RAM or the memory is random access memory. You can access the memory, right? But that information is not stable; it keeps on changing. Same way here. <coughs> I'm sorry. So let's move on to the next one. Then we have sys. What is sys? <coughs> This is also virtual and automatic information about the current hardware configuration. Okay, this is also again maintained by <coughs> your Linux operating system. Um, I would you know insist you rather. I mean, I know most of the terms are confusing. I mean, this also says parse, you know, and all the holds all the information changing. Uh, you might get confused within the parse and sys. As you can see, PROC is more related to processors. This is more related to the you know, system, right? And this also includes when I say kernel and other things. But whereas with the, you know, when it comes to this, this is actually hardware, completely hardware, right? And if you want, I would uh, I'll insist you to you know search more because me telling you something you know will not be in your mind if you search for yourself a little bit. So then we have SE Linux slash SE Linux. What is that? Stores all the current SE Linux settings. Yes. So if you have an SE Linux there, if you have enabled SE Linux, then all the secured Linux settings will be stored here. So now what is a path? <coughs> a path is a roadmap from one directory to another in the Linux file hierarchy system or file system hierarchy, right? FHS actually file hierarchy system but you can also say like this but which this is the standard term. <coughs> what is an absolute path? Absolute path or full path is a roadmap pointing to a directory or a file in a relation to root. Always begins with forward slash. So let's see that. I'm gonna see PWD. I'm going to go a, a little deep, right? So, here, home, Gajoo, uh, desktop. So, I've logged into now Gajoo's desktop. I'm inside Gajoo's desktop. Now, I'm going to see PWD. That means present working directory. So, what if this is called full path or absolute path? So, this is top level directory. From that inside, we have home. Inside that home. So, it's going to give me a roadmap. How I have to come from the top level directory, right? <coughs> so, this is the absolute path. Then, what, what is relative path? Alright, it's a roadmap to a directory or a file in relation to your present working directory. That is, my present working directory is a desktop, right? So, right now I'm in desktop. Let's say I say CD. <coughs> I'm going to do ls now. So I see that okay inside it I have a for I have something called 